Okay, this part of the kiln's finished now, so it's time to start working on the lid. Okay, so here's the underside of the lid, and here's the line I drew on it from the inside of the wall bricks. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out the four element courses. Okay, so there's my four courses right there. Now on the right hand side, that's where I'm going to put the control box. So this will be where the element lead wires enter and leave the kiln. So from this point right here, and this point right here, I'll just put a dotted line here for now. But I'm going to drill a hole in the kiln brick to get these lead wires out in the center of the end wall here. Then what I'm going to do is drill the element lead wires in from the outside like this and do this kind of configuration like that. So with these small ceramic insulators the hole in the middle is for the element and the groove around the outside is for the support system. So taking this piece of element wire, I'm going to wrap it around like this and then pinch it with a pair of pliers. And twist it up. And this little piece here that's that's sticking out, I have to make sure that that's been pinched down as well so that when I pull this through that little tiny hole I don't break away too much brick. There, so that's the end result. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is stretch the element, which is a tightly wound coil, to the correct length to go around back and forth here four times. So I have to measure this distance starting with the hole right here that goes down to the controller all the way okay I'm right at 60 inches there so there's a lot of distance now between the coil rotations so the next stage now is to put the insulators on the element. So I'll put all of the insulators on the element. Okay, the first thing to do is to put the lead wires through. Okay, now what I'm going to do is slide up the first insulator and I'm going to put it into its hole. Not all the way, just a little bit. And then I'm going to slide up the next one and put it into the beginning of its hole. Okay, now I'll lay it down on this face so that it, it's sitting basically in the position it'll be in the kiln. And here's all the wires poking through the top side. Okay, I'll show two different methods for fastening these wires. One method is to cut them on a fairly steep angle near the top and that leaves a, a nice sharp uh, point on it and then giving it a, a, a nice sharp bend like this and giving it another bend down near the base it turns it into a giant staple and then this gets embedded down into the brick and you can just push it into the soft brick there Okay, now it's time to go on with the metal work on the lid.